Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss which area its occurrence and thalla structure. So this which area is a genus which have 40 species. So across the globe, 40 species of which area are reported and out of 40, 9 are from India. In India, 9 species of which area are found. This which area is aquatic alga. Mostly it is found in fresh water. But it is also found in terrestrial conditions also. It is present near water. So it is found in moist conditions, it is found in ponds, ditches, lakes and also in slow flowing streams. So this is occurrence of which area. Now coming to thallus structure, which thallus is simply filamentous and branched. You can see that this is thallus, this is filament made up of filament. They have many filaments. So it is multifilamentous and these, this thallus is branched. This is much branched thallus. This thallus is also called siphonaceous. Why it is called siphonaceous? Siphonaceous means aseptate thallus. Here you can see that there is no septa and multinucleate means here you can see that these are nuclei, these black colored dots are nuclei. So here you can see that it is a filamentous which do not have any septa. And there are many nuclei in a single filament. So it is multinucleate and aseptate. This condition or this type of filament structure is called siphonesis. When we look at the internal structure of that thallus, you will found <laughs> the outer covering of that thallus or that filament is cell wall. And this cell wall is differentiated into two layers. This red color is outer layer. And this black colored layer is inner layer. This outer layer is made up of pectin substances and this inner layer is made up of cellulose. So its cell wall is two layer, outer layer and inner layer. Outer layer is made up of pectin, inner is made up of cellulose. So inner to the inner cell wall or you can say peripheral cytoplasm. So this is inner to this, this inner cell wall is cytoplasm, a freely cytoplasm that is aseptic, no septa is there. You will found outer portion of cytoplasm. So here you can see that this is a larger diagram of that filament. So it is a magnifying diagram. So here you can see that this is outer cell wall, this is inner cell wall. So, and this is cytoplasm, this portion. This wall portion is cytoplasm. So, in the outer part of cytoplasm, you will found here like these structures. You will found like this. Yellow green bodies. These structure, this green structure here I am showing. This green structure, these are yellow greenish colored body. These bodies are called chromatophores. This chromatophore contains chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotenoids and xanthophils and yellow 
green color of that yellowish color of that filament is due to presence of xanthophyll so these yellow green colored bodies are chromatophores these contain chlorophyll photosynthetic pigment that is chlorophyll a chlorophyll b and xanthophyll inner to these chromatophores you will found dark colored bodies many dark colored bodies these are called nuclei so nuclei are more than one means multinucleate condition are there is there so outer yellow green colored structures are called chromatophores inner to chromatophore is nuclei many nuclei are there and inner to nuclei is large central vacuole large central vacuole is present in the center position central position of filament so this is structure of thallus structure of which area this which area thallus structure of that which area is attached to the substratum by colorless thread like branched structures these structures these are called rhizoids so it is this whole thallus is attached to the substratum by thread like colorless structures and these are also branched thread like colorless branch structures these are called rhizoid so this is thallus structure of which area so to sum up all which area have 40 species out of 40 nine are from india so it is aquatic also found in terrestrial condition it is present in pond ditches lakes also in slow flowing streams it is filamentous branched and siphonaceous means aseptate and multinucleate its cell wall is differentiated into outer that is pectin inner that is celluloid when we talk about cytoplasm outer portion of cytoplasm contain yellow green, green colored bodies these are called chromatophores they contain chlorophyll a chlorophyll b and xanthophylls inner to these are many nucleus are present and inner to these nuclei a central vacuole is present and this whole thallus is attached to the substratum through colorless thread like branched structures these are called rhizoids so this is occurrence and thallus structure of which area